Hey, what's going on guys? In today's video, I'm going to be talking about Amok. <laughs> now, usually for these videos, I'd write some sort of script or something to go off of, but there is absolutely nothing good or anything interesting to mention about this game that I could write down. Um, it's... <laughs> it's what you would expect a game called Amok with this picture to look like and play like. You know, you can like run through doors, and I wouldn't even call it a game because there's literally no puzzles. The entire time, you're just running through doors, finding other doors, entering massive blue orbs for some reason that's never explained to you. Then occasionally there will be an enemy, or occasionally you'll fall through a floor. I'm not really sure why they made this game, what was going through their head that was like, wow, you know what we should do? Make a game that has absolutely no plot besides walking along the edge of a mountain for 35 minutes. I was recommended this game by a friend and they didn't play it. They just saw it and thought it looked funny. And that that is about the best part of the game, it being funny to laugh at. Like, it's, it's like a haha -ha giggle. There were no, like, keybind settings. It just kind of throws you in, says fuck you, and makes you run through a bunch of doors. The enemies... <laughs> it's like they tried to take alien isolation, and then just, like... I don't even know how to describe what they would have done to those models to make them whatever the fuck this is. But <laughs> it's bad. It's really bad. Like, I could barely deal with it. Also, some of them run faster. In one level, you earn a shotgun, and you can kill enemies. I thought, oh, maybe the game's gonna start being like a PvP thing, like it's gonna turn into something interesting. No, no, you, you get the shotgun for that level, and then from that level on, you just have to run from them, uh, which actually makes the end of the game near impossible, because the enemies run faster than you at one point, and you can't close the doors behind you to trap them. So you literally can't do anything. There are way too many bugs to mention. Like, just falling through floors. Um, you know. Not being able to open objects. They also set F is open. And don't specify that at all. So you have to press, like, half the keys on your keyboard. Before you actually figure out how to open a fucking door. Once I found out, um, I went into a bunch of rooms that did absolutely nothing. Went into one room that did something. And then that room just teleported me it made a hurt sound effect and teleported me away which was oh just mightily fantastic now i mean i'm not gonna say i didn't fully enjoy this game but i didn't enjoy any segment of this game it's fucking horrible this is legitimately one of the worst games i have ever played in my entire life this game feels like they spent more time making the door mechanics work than actually spending on any other part of the game they downloaded some default assets and just threw them on the map then spent the rest of the time fucking around with door mechanics i can't do a proper review on this game just because i legitimately played this for 45 minutes i was originally gonna do a let's play on it if that tells you anything but the let's play was so boring and the audio of the game was so loud that i couldn't even edit it i couldn't do anything the second level starts with you spawning in this pit of heat which you then run about eight miles from to get to a bunker and then once you're in the bunker you run another eight miles to get to a magical glowing orb that you go into then that glowing orb teleports you to the side of a mountain which you run along for like 30 minutes and then once you get to the end of that mountain it takes you into a cave system and in that cave system there are a bunch of fires with torches that you can pick up except for some reason the torches are at every single fireplace even though they literally never run out of fuel it's like they were too lazy to delete the torch from one single fire model so they just decided to add it to every single one which is a questionable choice but you know i guess it's their choice to make the wind feels like they're lightly sprinkling sand across the screen at mach 11 I, I'm not really sure why it's so fast or why it doesn't look anything like snow, but it also just doesn't work. There's also a mechanic where you just freeze to death, which is absolutely fantastic because what would you want more than freezing to death in a video game? There are a couple of buildings they added that you just can't go into and do absolutely nothing because they felt like it. 
I legitimately remember enjoying Walking Simulator 2022 a hell of a lot more than this. I really don't understand what the game developers were trying to do with it, because it's so just, uh, uh. There's also, for some reason, this absolutely horrifying blood splattering sound effect that I'll play for you, because for some reason, every time you walk in blood, it has to make a horrible squelching noise. Oh, oh, I hate that. Oh, it's like a sticky blood sound effect. Ew, 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 that's gross. That's really gross. Oh God, oh. That now usually this is the point where I'd say like, I've talked a lot of shit about the game, but but these are the good parts. Um, but the issue is there weren't any good parts. I would like to note, I've played a lot of getting over it and I now completely hate the game, but I would rather play getting over it another 270 times than play this a single moment ever again. It is legitimately painful. This game kind of reminds me of one of the Beatles on LSD songs, where after you listen to it, you're just like, what the fuck did I just listen to? This game is like the essence of I am the walrus. The most fun thing about this game was picking up the fire hydrants and just throwing them across the map. The game is 99 cents and somehow not worth a single one of them. If it was free, I would give it slightly more slack, but it is absolutely terrible. Overall, I'm gonna give this game like a 1 out of 10. I hated every second of it and it made me want to die, but, you know, it's still not as bad as their other games, including Ultra Tank and Night Z. Night Z being a knockoff Daisy that doesn't work. I'm not gonna buy it right now because I don't want to give them any more money, but I know it's bad because of the 104 mostly negative reviews. Okay, I'm, I'm done with this game. I'm cut. If you guys did enjoy this review, there are a lot more reviews unlike it on my channel. Um, if you want to watch any slightly better gameplay of any other game ever, then just, yeah, some will be on screen now. Uh, there's a subscribe button you can click if you want. Yeah, this game actually got me mad. I'm sorry. <laughs>